Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalist 3 Divine Wind with your host Shenra, currently playing as Bihari Hindustan. The year is uh, 1579, still in October, and we just started our uh, westernization spree. So we did our first tick towards westernization, we're at negative 2 stability, and all of a sudden we start learning about the world. Look at all this crap. There we go, there's... what the... F really? That's Venice? Really? Wow. Foy? Foy has three territories? Navarra still around? Crazy. What? Scottish Africa? Really? Oh my god, look at England. <laughs> wow. So Scotland has Ireland. Scotland has Iceland. Scotland has parts of Sweden. Wow. Denmark's got lower Sweden. Munster's kind of big. Poland's doing pretty well. Wow, what a weird... Oh, that's Akiela. Holy crap, that's Akiela. That's Akiela too. Wow. Well, this is certainly a weird world I'm in. Ooh, I can colonize. Um... Yeah, sure, why not? I love learning about things. Still can't see that. Still can't see that. Very cool. Well, that's a good way to start the next video. And now I'm going to pause the recording while I laugh some more at Europe and spend several years getting my stability up so I can westernize again. Welcome back, guys. The year is 1588. We have just westernized again. We are now in the Oriental group, I believe. Oriental group, yep. So we have one more to go until we're Western. But it's going to be a few years, obviously. Stability is 1591, just to get up to negative one again. But, let's see. What happened now is the new tech group gave us a spread of discoveries. So let's take a look around the world. Oh, that's it. Damn. I was, I was hoping it would be, like, a lot. But it's not. It's just that. Oh, well. Castilian Inca. Milanese South America. That's Milan. Aragonese. Aragonese Aztec. <laughs> Castilian North America. So it looks like Castile and Aragon are the, the big colonizers in the Americas. Castile's also over here in Africa. And Scotland's still here. Portugal. Scotland's up here, they're owning everyone. Oh yeah, we got an alliance with Scotland, just so they wouldn't attack us. We also got an alliance with Portugal, so they wouldn't attack us, so... Trying to keep everyone happy. And we've been sitting in a bunch of, uh... Horde lands, just abusing our colonists to the max. We're still getting, uh, almost two colonists a year. And it's allowed us to take some land. We also discovered some more of Hokkaido, so we're colonizing that. We discovered... So Sakhalin, so we're colonizing that. And we're just going to keep pushing as far as we can go. I think we're going to run out of range, though, because our closest core is in Taiwan. And if I'm correct, we can't... Yeah, we can't reach there. But whatever. We'll do what we can reach. And uh, I'm doing a couple of these right now. I'm doing Dagestan and Fergana. And Syria is just owning Hejaz. So pretty soon this is going to be all Syria... But they just lost a war to Venice. See, Venice moved in over here in Assyrium and Trebizond. So yeah, we've got some powerful neighbors now. I'm really still surprised that Venice is over there. And look how big Burgundy is. They totally own France. France has this one little dot, and that's it. That is their capital, right? Yeah, that's their capital. Anjou. That's all they got. Scotland took 
Corsica. <laughs> oh man, I can't get over that. But yep, yep, so we just westernized again. We have one more westernization to go, and then we have to westernize the military, so it's probably going to be several more years. I'll get back to you when uh, something good happens. Hey guys, welcome back. I know it's been a short time in the video, but it's been several years in the game. And as you can see, we just hit stability three. It's uh, September of 1599, so we're actually able to get our final westernization done before the year 1600, which is just fantastic. Let me tell you what's been going on before we hit the westernize button. Uh, we keep colonizing up here. We can't reach any further because uh, our, our range is limited by Taiwan. But we were able to get some islands. We took all of Hokkaido and uh, we finished up Sulawesi and uh, Borneo. Ah yes, let me tell you about Lanzang. They got bold. They conquered uh, Viet, Viet, Vietnam, Viet, whatever they're called. Then they conquered Ayodhya, and then they conquered Sukhothai, and then they conquered um, Khmer, and then they conquered Brunei. And, oops, all of a sudden they're over the infamy limit. So Ming comes down, and Ming grabs uh, these two from them, and we grab like eight or nine territories from them for a total of, you know, eight or nine infamy, because they were over the infamy limit. So that was pretty epic. That was a, a fun way to get a bunch of territories for sure. And on the west, well, we've just been constantly at war with the uh, hordes. I mean, they don't have anything left, just a few territories. So I'm just running around with a bunch of cavalry and taking their stuff and slowly colonizing it. But look at this, we're getting 2.15 colonists a year. So many, and we're not even Catholic. We're not Catholic, this is ridiculous. So we have colonists coming out, coming out our ears. Um, I've been paying Venice. Obviously, we're at good relations with them. I gave them access so they won't try to invade me. Same thing with Portugal. I even got an alliance with Portugal. I've uh, been, paying, been paying Syria, been paying Burgundy, Castile, Portugal, Scotland. Still can't believe Scotland. Look at that. We're allied with Scotland. Look at all this land they have over here in Sweden. And uh, Tyrone. Tyrone is over here beating up Denmark. This is hilarious. All this land, all this Danish land is, is being held by Tyrone. That is epic. Poland's pretty big. Austria's decent. Papal States got a little bit. Transylvania's got a little bit. Oh, there's Montenegro now? That used to be part of Achillea. Interesting. Croatia emerged. God, Europe's just a freaking mess. Who's the... Uh, HRE. HRE is Poland? Okay. Anyway, I assume once we hit the westernize button we should discover all the Americas, so ready for another stability drop? <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Stability drop. Oh, we didn't learn anything. Damn, last time we learned something. Oh well. So, now we are in the Western Technology Group, which is just awesome. And we're about to hit Government Tech 11 for a new idea. That's great. Oh, it's next month. Fantastic. And uh, next thing we have to do is modernize the military. For that, we need stability of 3, centralization of negative 5, and we can't have the resist influence, resist Western influences modifier, which we do have. So, our infamy is almost down to zero again, which means I'm kind of interested in killing somebody. But I think it's important that we start teching up. I could probably kill Ming, and I could probably kill Manchu or whatever, but I don't think I would stand a chance against most of these guys. I mean, look at Venice. They're at 22 and 22. And we are at... Uh, 11 and 8. Yeah, it's a bit different. They're running around with guns and we're still using, you know, pointy sticks. So, yeah, yeah. Time for more. Time for more stability crap. Just gotta sit around. Oh, I should turn my stability up. Of course. I've got a, a level 6 stability dude. Because that makes him awesome. And we're still making money every turn, even with negative 2 stability. 
Western arms trade. How did we lose Western? Oh, because we're a Western civilization now, right. Trade advance. Da, da, da. Government advance. And now we get these new discoveries. That means we should see... Aha! The Americas. Cool. Who's up here? Let's start at the top. We got Munster. Munster is up in Greenland. And Brittany is in Canada. Burgundy has New England. Castile has the south of America, or the south of the U.S. Aragon took over the Aztecs. Burgundy's colonizing Mexico. Brittany in Mexico. Achillea in Mexico. Achillea in Cuba. Castile in Cuba. Achillea Bahamas. Milan. Aragon. Castile. Oh, Castile got all the gold and Incas. Milan. Brazil. Portugal. Cool. Oh, we can see most of Africa, too. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. This is really one screwed up Europe, though. I mean, I, I still can't get over Venice. That's just weird. That is beyond weird. And Kandar. Look at Kandar. Alright. Idea time. Hmm. Well, I still need Church Attendance Day, at least until we get our stability up to three. What would be good? I guess I should have thought about this before, huh? kind of want missionaries. Just because we don't have any. We're so innovative that we don't have any missionaries. But I can always do that religious option to get plus 0.5. I don't have to do this one. Yeah, I won't do that. Uh, that might be cool so we can attack the Ming and Manchu without a causes belly. But we already have causes belly on Ming and Manchu, so who cares? Hmm, revolt risk would be really nice. What's our revolt risk look like? Oh, 24, 19. Oh, God. Uh, I think I really need morale armies, though. I mean, that's been holding me back. Oh. Yep. Awesome. We're still... Oh, I can move that up a bit. Come on. Don't be shy. There we go. Uh, let's see, what can I go over now that it's been uh, exactly 200 years since the game started? Let's look at the ledger and see how we're doing. Go to page one. All right, let's sort by income. Hindustan, number one income. We have almost twice as much income as Burgundy. And we're, we're just way ahead in that. Not doing too good on trade or production efficiency, but that's just because our technology is crap. Obviously our stability is crap. We have the worst stability in the world. Legitimacy, legit, legitimacy doesn't matter. We're a noble republic. Let's see. What else? Tech? Well, we're crap. I could tell you that much. Advisors don't care. Leaders don't care. Holy Roman emperors. Poland. Austria, 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 Poland. Blah, blah, blah. Surprise Poland's even in the HRE. How did that happen? Armies! We have 240,000. We have double the army of Burgundy. Haha, <laughs> take that, Burgundy. And Poland and Ming. We're doing pretty good. Navies! We have the biggest navy, but I bet you our ships are crap compared to Scotland's ships or Venice's ships. Number of provinces! <laughs> oh, this is on neighbors, enemies, friends. Largest, there we go. So Castile was up there and then they've been going down. That's probably all new world crap. Country overview, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. Don't care, don't care. Ah, cores, we have lots of cores. Working on other cores. I mean, I've been expanding gradually, not too fast, not too slow. I didn't want my stability to take forever, so I haven't been expanding too fast. Religion, well, we did pretty good and until we, we don't get any missionaries anymore. Culture, Bihari culture is still number one, and number two is other. Great. Production, we do a lot of wool and spices. I bet you were number one in the world in wool and spices. Technology, don't worry about it. Advisor, um, armies, who cares? Navies, who cares? Regiments, don't care. Ships, blah, blah, blah. Ah, 
kind of trades we have let me sort of we have one, two, three, four, five, six center trades. One of them's crap, Ostracon. But uh let me go with that. This one I just got Ostracon is crap. But that's just because this area is not too profitable. Uh Fars is doing okay. Uh Cooch is doing okay. I opened a new one in Reicher Doab, it's doing really good. Our original one in Ganges is doing fine. Uh, Malacca's doing fine, and our, uh, oh that's right, we have one in uh, Vietnam. When uh, when Lan Zong took over all of Southeast Asia here, they uh, opened a center of trade in Dong Long, so we got that one. It's, it's okay, I guess, 430. But it's nice division between Malacca and whatever the heck is up here, Nanjing or something. And... As we finish colonizing this territory, what's it at? 872, and we have one arriving in November. Oh, next month. Well, that means it will open up this corridor that we can colonize, because we couldn't reach it from this side, because our technology is too crap. But as soon as this one lands, we should be able to colonize the next territory. Blah, 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 blah. Wars in Europe that I don't care about. Spread of discoveries. Oh, we discovered more of Africa. That that's nice. Alright, there, we finished in Kerry. So at the end of the month that should flip. All right, now we have access to this territory. Send. I just feel like encircling the Ming. Just trapping these suckers in here. But yeah, I never really wanted to get all this stuff. I mean, they're, most of the territories up here are just like wool. I mean, they're not that great, and it takes ages to move between them, but whatever. It was next to me, and it, you know, it's no infamy to get any of this stuff, so why not? We converted the people of Chiang Mai. That's great. Guy's probably been sitting there for 30 years trying to convert. All right, uh, not much going to happen right now. I'm going to get my stability up, and I'm going to need a slider change towards centralization, and I have to wait for resist Western influences to wear off, and then we can modernize the military, and that will mean we will be almost on par with Europe, which will be great. All right? Uh, I'm going to pause the game until we get that uh, option to light up. Hello and welcome back. It's uh, 1614. We got our stability up two years ago. And luckily we have not had another message with a stability drop. They keep popping up messages saying, uh, you know, people are resisting westernization. And you get two options. One of them is uh, you get resisting westernization flag which lasts for 10 years and the other one is you lose stability or it pops up a regiment that you have to kill or your advisor dies so my advisors will keep dying and every now and then you lose stability or you lose centralization you know you just keep losing the stuff that you need for the 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 last uh, the last requirement to modernize your military keep losing your centralization, you keep losing your stability, and well, the advisors can die all they want, I don't care, and I don't mind killing regiments that pop up. But we are now at plus three stability, and we are now at minus four centralization, and we can change it next time this year, April, May, June. So in two months, we'll be able to change that final slider, get that last freaking uh, slider change, and then chain, upgrade our military. And uh, Ming is currently at war with Manchu. And Ming's allied with Korea, so they were going at it for a while. And yeah, if you, you can't really tell, but there's a, a light pink shade here. This is all Ming. This is all Ming. This is all Ming. So they're, they're in here pretty good. I don't even see any Manchu armies anywhere. 
I have helped revolution. Very cool. Assassination of noble. Plutocracy or lose stability. Well, I'm not going to lose stability right now, so plutocracy it is. I'll worry about that after I get my stupid slider change. Alright, here we go. This is the final slider change. Well, the final one for now. Oh, large revolt. Wait. Four guys is a large revolt? Four. Really? Okay. Where's the other one? Ah, right there. Where's my other leader? Alright, so we've got our final slider change. Now it's time to military modernize. Woohoo! So, what does this do? We lose. <laughs> six stability, but we get our units changed to western type. We lose two centralization, we get action and reaction until 1618, giving plus six revolt risk, plus 25% stability modifier cost, cultural tradition minus four, land tech investment minus five, wow. Wow. Alright, time to modernize the military. Oh. We've managed to bring out our cultural life up to par with our powerful neighbors. We wear their clothes, we practice their custom, and some of us even speak their languages. The real challenge of the military remains, however... Oh, the real challenge of the military remains, however... Wow, that is a very poorly written sentence. Alright, so we finally did our last little thingamaji. There aren't any more, are there? Monopolies, plutocratic... School Establishment Act? What's this do? Have a university in capital and we get stability cost modifier minus 3%. Ooh, I do like that. And better uh, production efficiency. All I have to do is build a university in Ganges. Can I build a university in Ganges? Probably don't have enough money. I can, and I do have enough money. Ooh. Okay, University in Ganges. Salt crisis. And back to the grind. Gotta get my stability up again. Yeah, I had it teetering on the edge of uh, uh, increased stability when we got uh, a pop-up that said uh, your advisor is awesome and you get plus two you either get plus two stability or you get plus ten prestige <laughs> and you can guess which one I like to pick out of that so we got a, a plus two stability out of that and we had our stability thing sitting right on the edge all right the curls cool kill them you didn't kill them. You suck. They're going to Kondo. Well, they can go to China all they want. Alright, so the other things that are on the menu are we have a core here in Kondo, and we have a core here in Dali, and that expires 1618. So I do want to go to war with the Ming for those two provinces before 1618, or I guess by 1618. But I also want to... Oops, running out of money. That's oh, December. It's fine. I also want to use... Uh, our new military units. I don't think we have anything amazing right now. Ooh. Infantry. What the hell am I using right now? I'm using Mansabdar Musketeer. I haven't even recruited any of this crap yet. I don't like any of these units. 
well. They're just too offensive. They have no defensive morale. Look at that. Well, whatever. Uh. Mm, yeah, Culvern, I guess. But yeah, I can't afford units right now. Oh, we're losing. <clears throat> now we're losing money. Earlier we were making quite a bit of money. that way, so you're going to have to go that way. So yeah, I'm going to spend a few years doing this at least. 16-16 for, for just to get to minus one. Copper, I like copper. Oh, more revolts. Fun. Fun, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, I love it. Revolt me to death. Yeah, baby. Oh, right there. Then you go there. And you go... Uh, well, yeah, you. Down here, any? No? No revolts in Korea? No revolts up here? God, so many freaking revolts. There's a revolt. You thought you could get past me, didn't you? New exploits. Central Siberia. Ah, uh, wasteland. <laughs> no more revolts. No. My sword revolts. No. Revolts. Six guys and six guys. That's fine. Get on the boat. Alright. Hey, you guys won. Good for you. Go down here. Oh, the Ming annexed Sean. Poor Sean. Did they get any infamy for that? Yeah, they got eight infamy. You better watch yourself. Oh, they have 34 limit. Damn. I was hoping they would be close to their limit. Cool. Naval technology, good. Come on, kill them. You didn't kill them. Uh, yeah, you don't need a general for that. You need a general, because these armies are decent. You just dock back up. Where are they going? They're going to... Duh, 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 duh. Are we getting there? Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting to Sergit. Oh, that's such a long way away. Damn. Well, that will revolt. We'll have to put it down again and again and again. That's like the third time circuits revolted in the past couple of years. Oh, oh, look. Mmm. Oh, mmm. Mmm. Revolts. Mmm. Delicious. Oh, right on top of my army. Delicious. Good revolts. We're engaging. Oh, there's another one up here now. Great. So that means you're going to go down here, and then you're going to come back up here. And if you have time, you'll go up there. Where the hell... Oh, you're going to take out both of those. Good for you. So many revolts, they're actually lining up right in the path of where my dudes are already going to kill other revolts. Alright, so you're finished. Yeah, go back to Curzon. You're not doing shit. You are useless. Come up here and help these dorks. Watch, and then there's going to be a 30 revolts right in the middle. Alright, we killed them there. Go there. Go dock up over there. Engage them in Chewy. Gain the core province in Bone. That's nice. That revolt is dead. North Ufa. Are you winning? We won in Chewy. We won in North Ufa. Good. And Sergit. Well, they're going to take that again. I need to build like a level 10 fort up there or something. 
Oh, damn it. Alright, you do that one, and then come back. Cool, self-sustaining colony. Berezov, is that this one? No. Is that this one? No. Where's Berezov? Oh, that's this one. This is one where the natives kept popping up and killing me. Bastards. Oh, here we go. So the Manchu and Ming finally got peace. They got one, two, three. Okay. So everyone's at peace over here in the east again. Good. We'll deal with them when we actually have some stability and some money to buy new units. Oh, our economy's doing fine now. Shit. Slave uprising, who cares? Okay, these guys are done. Is there anything else on the coast that I can get to with this army? Nope. 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 Okay. Oh yeah, you don't need this anymore. Alright, you guys killed those guys. Great. We don't need... Are you going to make that? Maybe. Give you a fast leader. Trading in copper. That's nice. Oh, we have a colonist. Yay! We want him there. Or there. Or there. So what's the most money? Ten. Yeah, this one's the most money. Alright, you guys arrived on the boat. Good. Go back to Pegu. Oh, revolt. Oh, no. Oh, someone sponsored that one. You bastards. Actually, go kill that while you're there. Finished a fort. Oh, yeah, that's right. We should build stuff. Wait, am I going broke? I'm only losing eight gold a year. I'll build something. I'll build a, a level two, level one fort. There we go. And that's it. And the rest I will put into paintings. They don't cost no damn money. Ooh, we have a missionary. Yay. We're getting 0.2 a year, so every five years we get one of these beautiful missionaries. But they're kind of expensive. I think I'll just hold on to it. And besides, they increase the revolt risk. That's not what I need right now. Bangalore. God, just freaking left Bangalore. You go do it. Bastard. Oh, look, they're successful again. They're always freaking successful. My guys even almost almost got there. Rebel Uprising. Two whole guys. Oh, no. Mm, are you coming back? No, you're still going up. Damn it. Fine, you go there, and then you go there, and then come back. Rebel Uprising. Big surprise. Oh, it's on Ceylon. God damn it, I'll have to do it with this army. Did you guys win? You guys won. Cool. Are you guys even there yet? No, you got a ways to go. Um, You do it, and then come back. Oop. Do it, and then come back. That one, that's that one, that one's being dealt with, that one's being dealt with, that's being dealt with, that I'll deal with in a minute. That's all there is to do once you get, once you get like an empire like this, it's kind of,
crap, all you ever do is kill your vaults. I would love to have some exciting footage for you guys right now, but this is all there is. Putting down revolts. Oops. Damn it. Go this way, and then there, and then there. They always want to hurt their ships, and there's no point. Oh, more revolts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby, now we're getting it on the islands. Oh, was that another one up here in Solyamsk? There's two now? Yep, there's two. So they went from two to four. <gasps> oh no! Not four! You guys have a good leader, that's fine. You guys are dealing with that. These guys are dealing with that. You go there and come back. Nothing for you to do, you just chill. You're going there, that's cool. Ah, there's one on the island, there's one down there. Um, yeah, I'll deal both of those with the ship. Oh no, not pirates. Oh no, revolts. God damn it. So you guys are done with that. Oh, are you even going to kill them? We're not going to kill them, but we are going the same direction. Can I get you a leader? I don't want to spend 50, 60 gold. Um, who is not busy? You, yeah, you definitely do not need that. In fact, you can just sit right there, bro. Actually, go sit there. And you're going to get the leader. And you, oh, come on, just kill the freaking pirate ship and dock up. Thank you. Thank you. That wasn't so hard. Oh, more uprisings. Big surprise. Never would have thought it possible. Oh, look, it's right next to me. Cool. We didn't kill him in Corrales. Really? It's freaking amazing. We're on a little island. Just corner them and kill them. Is that really complicated? Oh good, you won in Solyomsk. Very nice. Very happy for you. Kozokum, you guys gonna get there? Yeah, you'll get there. Malaka, I'll deal with it. Rayong, they're on the way. I'll deal with it. They're on the way. I'll deal with it. Kill these guys, Jesus. You need a leader. Uh, where is my Lodi leader? Yeah, you don't need a leader. You do. There you go. Ah. <sighs> Alright, now you kill them. Good. Get on the damn boat. Oh, a revolt. No. You deal with it. Cool, you killed him. I'm completely impressed with your ability to kill stuff. Okay, now we're going to take out Malacca. Oh, more revolts. Yeah, uh-huh. 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 Never enough revolts, that's what I always say. Okay, well, I guess I don't need three armies over here. Why don't I take my Vianga army way down? Oh, my goodness. Where is my fleet? There's my fleet. Alright, well, I'll just walk. Whatever. More revolts, more revolts. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to end this here. Um, this whole video has been just getting stability up, losing advisors, 
losing stability, losing centralization, just taking years and years and years to westernize. But it will definitely pay off. We are now the Western tech, so we research at 100% efficiency. We've already got our land up to 16. And you can see our neighbor Venice is only at 22. I'm sure someone's going to be at 23. Burgundy's at 24. But this will increase quickly because we are so large and our economy is 6,400 versus 2,800 for Burgundy. So we can put a lot more money into the, the uh, technology training. So we will catch up. And during the next several years, while I'm getting stability up, oh, it's going to be up at the end of the year, good. While we're getting stability up, I will slowly be replacing all these Persian armies with modern uh, modern armies that we will be able to recruit. Probably with guns, because guns are awesome. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time, hopefully with more stability and less revolts.